Hello, my name is Andrew from the Schneider Electric's Advanced Technical Support Team for Variable Speed Drives. Today we are going to show you how to set up the ATV12 for the PID control. Make sure you start from the factory default settings in the drive. First we need to change the reference as we only have one analog input on the drive. So first off we go to the config menu, then the full menu, then scroll down to the CTL and change FR1 to a different setting other than AI1. I am going to use the A1U1 for this example using the dial for reference. Once saved go to the functions menu FUN. To get back to the function just press the escape back to the function key. Now scroll down to the PID menu and press enter. You will now have PIF on the display. Press enter and select the input to be used for the feedback. In this case AI1 as it is the only analog input on this drive. Just below the PIF parameter we have the RPG, RIG and RDG and FBS. These are your gains inside the drive. Do not adjust these. Leave these at default settings until you have carried out your first system tests. In this example I'm going to set a manual override with a pot as the manual speed reference. You set the PAU for the manual selection I'm going to use L2H to switch from PID to manual and then select the PIN parameter for AI1. Once I've set this up I can escape back to the ready position on the drive ready to go. Now try to start the drive. At this point the drive will not start by the logic input 1 input. This is a common mistake when the A1U1 is selected. This is because the reference and the command has not been separated in the CTL menu. You need to go back to the CTL menu and change parameter CHCF to separate. This will separate where the drive looks for its reference with regards to where the command comes from. And in this case the A1U1 is the reference and our terminals are the commands. The CHCF parameter would need to be on SEP if you use any selection FR1 as the reference. We can now start the drive using logic input 1. We now go to a running state. By reducing the feedback the drive will speed up and if we raise the feedback the drive will now slow down. With this drive if you only need one set point then use the P11 and RPI parameters. P11 switches on the internal set point and RPI is the reference set point inside the drive. This would override the reference in FR1 parameter. If I now stop the drive and close logic input 2 I will now have manual control. The start and stop will be on the LI1 connection and the speed will be the analog input 1 from the potentiometer. This will give us the speed range from the low speed to the high speed settings inside the settings menu. If I go back to the PID control As we have set the drive for A1U1 as the reference, the set points required can be adjusted by using a dial set on the reference setting of the unit. As you can see, as the PID set point is raised, the motor speeds up to try and balance the pressure to the set point. Then as we raise the feedback, the motor will reduce in speed to keep the level pressure.
Here we have a typical flow chart for our PID loop within the drive. We first start off by looking at our external reference for the speed control. We have the selection of whether it's going to be external or internal reference. We then go into the uh, preset speed circuit and where the preset speeds are brought in from. And then we have the minimum and maximum on the PID loop. We then have ramp timer and then our summing block. And this is where we select our return from. The PIF parameter only having no or AI1 as the selections. We then go into the error inversion loop and then from there to the sleep and wake up uh, values set inside the drive if required. We then have our normal games and then that goes off down to the predictive speed input which then feeds to auto manual selection. On the auto manual selection we are selecting either between the PID or the manual operating mode and as you can see once we select our analog feedback for our manual we can then go back, it comes back through the normal ramp circuit and controls the speed of the drive. I hope you find this information useful. Thank you for watching. Thank you.